Hello everyone, in this video I will show how to use an AI to change the style and the details of an image and keep the main character. To begin with we will need a stable diffusion installed. I showed how to do it in the last video. Go to the extensions available, click load from, scroll down and find stable diffusion web UI control net, click install. You can click on the name and get to the GitHub. There is a lot of information about settings and different types of models. For this script to work we will need a special models. Click on the first link in the description. On the GitHub you can see what each model does. But in this video I will show those with which I work regularly. Kenny, Debs and OpenPose. Kenny makes a black and white sketch from the original image. Depths makes a depth map of the image, open pose reads the only pose of the character on the photo. When models from ControlNet have been downloaded, they need to be placed in the specific folder. Located Stable Diffusion, Extensions, Stable Diffusion Web UI, ControlNet, Models. This completes the preparations. You can restart Stable Diffusion now in the tabs Text to Image and Image to Image. There at the bottom should be a drop down menu of control net. On the text to image tab let's expand the menu. At the top we can upload an image that will be taken as a base. Enable enables a control net, invert input colors RGB to BGR, I don't use, I think it's clear from the name what they do. Low VRAM in case you don't have enough video memory, I don't notice any difference from using it. Guess mode adds more creativity to generated image, preprocessor and model. Select the same from the drop down list. For example, I'll take a Kenny. Wait, how much control net affects uh, generation? Zero practically doesn't affect, two affect very much. Guidance start. At what point from the beginning of the generation the script will start working? Zero is 0% zero from the beginning, immediately when you press generate. 0 0.1 means 10% from the beginning of generation will be without control net, then it will turn on. Guidance end. It's the same for the end of the script. 1 is 100%, it will work until the very end of the generation. Don't touch the parameter further and those are responsible for image processing in the same way as in the image to image tab. I have generated a black and white sketch of a cat, let's upload it to a control net. Let's leave everything to the default parameters for now. I will write in prompts a red cat with blue eyes. Generating. We get exactly what we ask for. And additionally, we have an image how ControlNet sees the image. Let's go to the image to image tab. I insert the same cut, the same prompts, and copy the seed of the last generation to show the difference. Turn on ControlNet, select the model. This time it's not necessary to upload an image. The script itself will take it from the window above. But you can upload something of your own and combine several images. I leave all the parameters as they are, click generate. As you can see, the difference is significant. All because in the first case we generated the image simply by prompts and contour from a control net. And now in image to image stable diffusion takes more colors of the original pictures, shadows, shades, so most often you need to increase the denoising straight when using a control net. Let's also try what will happen with the same parameters without a script. We get a cat, but it's very far from the original. For the following example I generated a photo of woman on the street. In prompts I will apply a prepared cyberpunk style. Reset the seed and click generate. Let's try the same with a depth model and with open pose. As you can see the difference is obvious. 
and suitable for different tasks. That's it for today. If you find my videos helpful and interesting, please like and subscribe. Bye.